friends. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so as promised, I am doing a product review. Product review, yeah, baby. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick update too because I haven't made a video in a while and blah, 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 blah. Okay, so a lot of you on my last video, I had talked about my haul video that I recorded. Okay, so right now I'm actually doing a video for the very first time on my iPad. I usually do all my videos on my handy dandy Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy. Um, I did my haul video on my phone and yeah, like it is having problems downloading, which is actually why I'm trying this video on my iPad. I don't even know how it's going to turn out. Anyway. So, I'm going to keep trying to upload it. If I can, it'll be up. If I can't, I'm sorry. It's probably because it's so stinking long. Anyway, let's keep it moving. Um, yeah, some of you are probably like, oh my god, is that like some type of new funky you're about to dance glove? No. Pregnancy induced carpal tunnel. Yeah, if I don't wear this brace, these three fingers right here go completely numb. And I'm like doing this with my hand trying to get it to Anywho, so, um, yeah, let's get to the product review. I got tons and tons of hair products at the World Natural Hair Show and at the um, events that I went to surrounding it, like I went to two different meetups while I was down there. Okay, some of you are going to say, oh my God, Becky, are those twists? Yes, I have my hair in twists right now. Um, my hair is not twisted with the product I'm going to do a product review of. We're going to get to that. Um, uh, let's see what leave-in did I use. I used the Camille, um, Camille Rose Coconut, the Coconut Water leave-in, and then the Almond J whatever twist cream. I really love that combination. They're both Camille Rose products. You can actually get them at Target, but I got them at the hair show because they're only 10 bucks. Whoop, whoop. Anyway, so I'll leave these twists in for a couple days, then I'll take them out. That's how I get down. Let's talk about this. Product review for G Jelly Boo. And it's probably going to be backwards on the video, but yeah, sorry. Anyway, it's called Style and Go Curl Definer. For a soft hold that defines, moisturizes, elongates, and enhances your curls. Yeah, baby, yeah. Let's talk about it. So let's talk about how I got this. Um, I did pay for it. It was about $10. I'm not sure how much it is online. I've never gone to her website, and I probably never will. <laughs> There's a spoiler alert for you. Anyway, so, um, and I hope my video comes up, my, um, my haul video. I hope I can upload it. Let, okay, I'm going to throw some shade. Here's the thing about me. I'm sorry. I have to be honest. I cannot lie. I'm not going to lie. I don't lie. So, the non-brunch I went to... The Sunday after the World Natural Hair Show, I went to this natural hair brunch. And I'm saying brunch because I ain't never went to a brunch that didn't have brunch. That was shade. I, I, I got to keep it real. Yeah, it was advertised as a natural hair brunch. I was expecting food. There was no food that, FYI, don't ever promise a pregnant woman food. Have her pay for a ticket that's called a brunch. And you get there and ain't no, well, it was food. Okay. They had these little plastic little plastic things about this big and one had like a grape a strawberry yeah uh and <laughs> like a couple little pieces of fruit the other one had like a celery a baby carrot and like a grape tomato with a ranch these two little and no joke um if you're my friend on facebook you saw me post a picture where i was like yeah anyway at the non-brunch i went to the lady and i don't remember her name so i do apologize the lady that sells this stuff, let's see if her name's on the back. Um, yeah, she was there and she talked to us and she had a booth set up. And um, supposedly this was very, very good for wash and goes. And I used it. Mm -hmm. I'll give you the first few ingredients. We got walla, wallow. <laughs> I didn't combine two, two words. I can't talk today, y'all. Water and aloe. So wallow. No, water, aloe, um... Let's see, sweet almond oil, jojoba oil. It's got great ingredients, olive oil, um, black cumin seed oil, and then it goes down from there. Anyway, um, yeah, G Jelly Boo. And what's funny is, I don't know why, but when I did my haul video, which hopefully you'll see one day, 
I kept calling it J Jelly Boo. I, the name is weird. I'm going to just put that out there. G Jelly Boo. Like, what you got in your hair? G Jelly Boo. That don't even sound real. I'm. These are my honest opinions. Get mad at me if you want to. I can't help it. Okay. So, here is the consistency. I'm going to pour some out my hand for you. Because that's how nice and kind I am. You see it? It kind of looks like a flaxseed gel. But I don't think there's any flaxseed in it. Um, the smell, really and truly, there's. I'm looking for flaxseed now. Because it really does look like a flaxseed gel. But it's not. There's none of that in there. Um, <sighs> there's no fragrance that's put in it. Oh, yes it is. I'm lying. Ooh, so it smells like it's on purpose. Side eye. Um, fragrance is the last ingredient. It doesn't smell good. It almost... It almost smells like glue. Like, not quite Elmer's glue, but like... If somebody put some Elmer's glue and went like that and you caught a whiff of it, it smells like, yeah, a small hint of glue. Anyway, so apparently that fragrance is on purpose because there's fragrance in there. Um... If you can't tell, I did not like this. But let me tell you my experience. Now, let me tell you what the directions say. Um, apply a sparing amount of G Jelly Boo Style and Go Curl Definer to damp, freshly shampooed, and conditioned hair. Rake through large sections and air dry. For maximum elongation, comb a nickel-sized dollop through small sections and air dry. And then it says to follow up the next day with um, the oil perfection, which I did have, um, but I've used that already. But anyway, I had it, but it says the next day. So it says not to use a leave-in, wash and shampoo, or shampoo and condition your hair, um, damp hair, put this in there. If you want major elongation, comb it through. So let me tell you what all I did on that day. I shampooed my hair. I conditioned my hair. I got out of the shower. I put this, well, after I had, because I actually did, I made sure I, um, I used a, what's it called, t-shirt to kind of get some of the water out of my hair. I put this lovely product in my hair, put it all through my hair, I did. Um, here's what I'll say about putting it through my hair. It doesn't have a lot of slip, and so, and this is 8 ounces too, I got 8 ounces for 10 bucks. Um, it didn't have great slip, so I felt like it was, my fingers were getting stuck a little bit in my hair, but I was still optimistic. I was like, we're going to make this work. So, um, I didn't do my shake thing. I just kept trying to get it in my hair. And I went and looked in the mirror. It was horrendous, I tell you. Yes, my hair looked a jiggly mess. Um, I have had my hair not turn out the way I wanted it before. And what I will usually do is go for a puff. Because when in doubt, when you're natural, you can always save a jacked up hairstyle with a puff. Whether it be a side puff or a puff with bangs or just a puff. You can always save a hairstyle with a puff. That is kind of the natural hair philosophy I've lived by for like the last almost four years that I've been natural. Yeah, I did something, no joke. I have never done this in my whole life of being natural. My hair looked so horrible. A puff wasn't going to save it. This is not the truth for me. Your hair might love it. Your hair might be like, oh my God, this is awesome. My hair was like, what the heck? Get this out my hair. So <laughs> what I did um, in my bathroom, um, I have a separate shower and big, huge garden tub. You know what I'm talking about? So no joke. I have never done this before in my life. I had already put my clothes on. And so I was like, dang, I really don't feel like taking my clothes off and get back in the shower because this is a mess and I ain't going out like this. And I think I didn't really have anywhere major to go. I think it was like a Saturday and we were just going shopping or something. But I wasn't fitting to even go to Kroger's looking like that. What? I literally got down on my knees <laughs> in the bathroom, put my head under the faucet of the tub and was just trying to get it out. I was like, Jesus, please just get this mess out of my hair. And, yeah, I rinsed it out in the tub on my knees. And, yeah, then I proceeded to do my hair. I don't even know what I put in my hair that day. Some kind of random gel that I just happened to have handy on the counter. Anyway, so that's my experience with this. I did not like it at all. You might love it. This might be the bomb.kizzy for you. 
but it showed I shouldn't laugh it wasn't for me and so that's my review um there's still this is I mean it's like I used it to yeah I, I ain't gonna try it no more I'm not going nope not nope nope so what am I gonna do with it I don't know if somebody comes to my house and they're like hey you got any products you want to get rid of I'm not going to spend shipping to ship this to somebody because you probably wouldn't like it. Um, but if somebody's over here in, at my house and they just want it, um, they can have it. Or it might be one of those days where I'm like cleaning out a bunch of junk and I wind up just throwing it away. Let's tell the truth. There it is. Anyway, I hope this product review was helpful for you. Um, a product review that I'm going to do soon. Um, some of you know that like I had not deep conditioned my hair forever. I've actually been deep conditioning my hair. Oh my god. Y'all can get off my back now. Um, so I actually plan to do um, a review of three different deep conditioners from the same company next week. Because I was actually going to do them one at a time. And then I was like, why? Let's not just throw them all together. And we're going to do a trio of deep conditioners in one review. All from Sorenzo. So my plan is to do that one next weekend. I want to use one of the other ones again just so I can solidify my opinions. Um, so that's what's coming up. If I decide to do, I'm like, what's in my hair now I'm not going to do a review of because I've reviewed this product like a long time ago. Um, so, yeah, I might review some other stuff later this week because I have been using tons of stuff. Like, trust me, tons of stuff. Anyway, have a phenomenal Sunday and yeah, bye.